Hello everyone, glad to have you with me, CK Too Much here, back at it again with Empress Daenerys Stormborn of Giscar. Uh, in the last episode, guys, we managed to complete our conquest over Mantaris and Illyria. Once I have enough money, I will be able to colonize Barash, and I need to colonize it in order to create the kingdom of Northern Valyria. So, you can see there are 13 provinces, we have 6 of them, we need one more, but the rest of them are all ruins. So we have to wait. Um, I'm about halfway there, so that's good. Um, and I also, um, while that was going on, I got pregnant once again. And Drogon unfortunately got wounded during a siege on Illyria. Now, while he is healing, we're going to send our army down south to conquer uh, the Basilisk Isles and Nath. Um, now, I've said this a few times in the last episode, but, you know, Nath is a defenseless country, uh, as Masande, my uh, friend and courtier, has told me, and, or I guess Daenerys, not me, Daenerys, uh, it's always getting attacked, always getting raided, it's too weak to defend itself, just like Lazar, and we brought the Lazar into the Empire for this reason, because Daenerys saw what happened to them at the hands of her husband, Drogo, and I want to do the same down here. So. Uh, we are going to begin this conquest, and we won't even need dragons, so Dragon Conquest of Axe Isle, Dragon Conquest of Skull Isle, Dragon Conquest of the Isle of Vines, Dragon Conquest of Talons, Dragon Conquest of uh, the Howling Mountain. And I'll also get... Oh, Isles of Tears is a ruin. Okay, so we'll also get the Isles of Serpents. I wonder how these places got their names. <laughs> death Isle. That's, uh... I wonder if there are more deaths there as opposed to these other ones. Island of Flies. I think I might end up renaming some of these. Uh, okay, I think I got every one. Yeah, and also we'll do Nath. So, hopefully, um... Hopefully we'll see some surrendering here, but we'll wait and see on that. Alright, so we got quite a few guys standing down. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if most of them stood down, because they're really not in any position to do anything. And hopefully I'll be able to... Oh, okay, so Daenerys uh, is in the final months of her pregnancy, so hopefully uh, everything is going to go okay. Um, but okay, let's go ahead and um, I'll land my guys. I guess I'll just land them here, Howling Mountains, and I'll take on the rest of them. Honestly, I really thought more of them would surrender, but I, I think we'll make pretty quick work of them. Although there are a lot of diseases here, so we probably shouldn't let Daenerys go there herself. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's start with... Uh, the Isle of Flies, and then we'll go with the Death Isle. Uh, oh, look at that! So, Griseries, and please guys, as I said in the last episode, please help me decide on the Valerianized Giscari name for my son, or the Giscariized Valerian name. So I have it as Grisaries. It sounded stupid to me at first, but it's grown on me. Um, I was also thinking of Agak, like a Giscari version of Aegon, or Grasdarin, but, you know, let me know what you guys think. But look at that, we've managed to... Oh, Misa! Very cool. So Misa means mother, uh, that's the name that some people call Daenerys. So good for him, good for him. So Griseries has hatched his, a very own dragon of his own. Look at that, so ho hopefully he will be a dragon rider. Uh, okay, so that is great news. That is very good news. Since he's uh, Valerian and he's friends with that dragon, he'll probably very likely be able to um, mount it. What's up with this? <gasps> Ooh, okay. So I had another son, Balin Targaryen. Uh, I will also set him up for struggle and I will also set him up with Jorah. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of funny, um, I probably won't get more dragon eggs. So he's gonna be awarded, like, a fully grown dragon, while Griseries, 
and again, please tell me what you think about this name, uh, Grizzaries will have um, a much younger dragon, so that could potentially uh, cause some problems if, you know, for example, my second son thinks he's better, uh, but we'll see. We will see. So, uh, as for his name, maybe I could Giscariize the name Balon. Balak? Balar? Oh, maybe Balar. I've seen a few names here, like, uh, I don't know if they're here. Maison? I mean, that name looks Valerian by itself. Maison. Maybe I'll just keep... Yeah, there's Barkaz, so it could be Balaz. <laughs> Balaz. Maybe Balaz. Does that sound stupid? Am I bad at making fake names? Balaz? Balar? Ba Baildar? Maybe Baildar? Like his dar? Baildar? Baildar? Balaz? I kind of like Balaz. Let me know what you guys think about Balaz as well. I think I want to keep that for now. I kind of don't want to name him Agak. Because if... Like, then... Who who has the true legacy? The 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 so-called Aegon slash Agak or the Grazdon slash Grazeris? So I'm gonna just name him Balaz. Uh, but okay, good for him. Uh, I really hope I'll get another dragon egg. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these fully born, uh, fully grown dragons though. To be honest, but okay, that's wonderful. And I can change my ambition to maybe forge a bloodline. We can probably already do this. I would imagine we must have won 15 wars by now. Yeah. Yeah, we've won 15 foreign wars, so we're about to form that bloodline now. If I Do I need to click anything? No. It should happen by itself. Uh, Alright. I guess I could make my one of my children the king down here, possibly. But we'll see. Okay, so... Uh, we have gotten rid of him, so we can offer peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll go on to Death Isle. And you know what? Ooh. After my most recent victory, I have reunited my most trusted commanders to discuss our future military campaigns. Uh, yeah, I've immortalized my armies. I've earned the loyalty. Oh, I've 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 loyal. I've earned the loyalty of my armies and immortalized my names as one of the greatest conquerors of our time. Yeah, that sounds good. So Daenerys, the Fury, the Fury of Liberty. So we have uh, established our own one. Oh, look at that! The Warlord from Astapor. Scarcely any ruler bordering Giscar sleeps well at night, tormented by the dreams of conquest of their terrible neighbor. Empress Daenerys has carved a blood-soaked path through the lands of Giscar, earning the fame of a ruthless and fearsome warrior. None are safe from her reach, and it is hard to say if her thirst will ever be satisfied. Look at that. A cunning and relentless commander, she has overseen countless victories on the battlefield and acquired immortal glory for herself as well as her descendants. Very cool. Very cool. So now they have two bloodlines. That is excellent. Okay. Um, I think that... Uh, oh. Yeah, that's pretty fitting. And it's all in the name of... Uh, it's all in the name of freedom and liberty as well. Uh, oh, okay. So we got a little bit of an army here. Not on my watch. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay out of the battles for now. Uh, just because I do want Drogon to heal. And I think I'll be able to revoke all of their titles as well. Without much of a fight. Oh my god. Uh, so usually when I've, I've played countless games. Um, where I've t taken over the Stepstones. And uh, because the Stepstones are all pirates... Oh, I'm going to change my ambition to having a daughter. Uh, because all of the uh, Stepstone guys are pirates, no one really cares if you revoke their titles. But, yeah, whatever. Well, in time we can take this over. I think I'm going to give the kingdom... To the to the Nathi. 
you know, it's also possible the people who are initially surrendered, I might be able to just grab their lands immediately because they're not going to have uh, a truce, I don't think. Uh, Aston Nax was captured. All right, he's one of these Corsairs. Ooh, I could visit his chamber. Can I recruit him? I could. Can I execute him? All right, I can execute him without any consequences. I'll just have him beheaded. Um, all right, so let's go on to Talon. That's a cool name. Uh, yeah, so Belaz is a child of incest. Let me check on my council. Everything in order? Oh, I need a new physician, but I don't have one. Any open advisor positions? No. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. This is great. So, I have gotten another dragon egg from Drogon. I'm having remarkably good luck in this game, to be honest. Um, all right. Yeah. So, I'll go ahead and grant Baylaz that dragon egg. I'm really mm, kind of concerned about what's going to happen to Rhaegal and Viserion. I mean, like, are they ever going to be... Are they ever going to be tamed... And are they going to be, like, OP? Because, uh, like, Grizzaries and Baylaz will have their own dragons that they've had from birth. But they're always going to be younger and weaker than these ones. So that's kind of a little bit of a recipe for disaster, actually. Uh, but I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, let me siege this. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 come on. An auto save. Uh, all right. Can I ransom her? Oh no, she was taken by someone else. Oh, she was taken by Azak. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and offer her peace. And she's still pr prisoner of my main man, Azak. You know, Azak's been a very good commander for me, as well. Oh, and he's a friend of mine too. Now, Azak, I believe, is also one of those kids that in the books was, you know, given to Neris as a hostage, I think. Let me double check that. Azak so Uh Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was one of them uh, as well. Um, okay. Yeah. So it's nice to see that, you know, some of these guys still managed to enter our story. Aegon. You know, Aegon could tame a dragon. I don't know why he won't come to my court. I guess he's a lunatic, so maybe that's why. So what's happening with uh, Lancel? Because last time I checked in the Stormlands, there's a big civil war going on too. Wow, okay, yeah. Uh, so Lancel has a lot of people. Oh, the Vale has also joined in. So this, I think this is going to be the end of Joffrey. So we will keep our eye on him. Okay. And the Stark, it looks like the Starks will inherit that, actually. We're also in line. Yeah, we're fifth. We are fifth in line to the Iron Throne. Um, as I've said before, um, I may try to get Westeros, but it's really not on my radar. You know, uh, actually, this might be a great opportunity to go snag Dragonstone. Who, who is it under right now? It's, it's directly under Joffrey. This might be a really good opportunity to get Dragonstone. So maybe once I have completed this conquest, I will try to do that. Uh, that would be really cool. Because uh, I wouldn't have to fight him at his full strength. And I might even have the opportunity to go into King's Landing. And maybe, you know, F it up a little bit. Um, okay, so we can go ahead and finish this one here. Um... Who has imprisoned them? Again, Asak, Asak is just imprisoning everyone, getting plenty of political favors for when they are eventually released. Did I forget to declare war on the Isle of Toads? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Do I have any prisoners? No. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we're just slowly making our way around the, the Basilisk Isles. I could probably go ahead and create the kingdom. Yes. Wonderful. And let me check. Can I revoke any titles? Uh, no. No, why not? Aha, uh -huh. truce. No. No. Oh, yes. All right, so since he's a member of the pilot, pirate fleet, 
people will not object. That is great. Uh, okay, that is great. So people don't really care if I revoke these guys' titles. So that's good. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna smooth this over. Okay. Oh, look at that. So Drogon has also healed. Um, and I can I revoke his title too? No, I can't. Okay. So no one else. No one else. All right. So great news for you, Nathy. Um, you will receive the kingdom of the basil. Okay, I have to wait. Never mind. Can I give you some of these lower titles in the meantime? Like for example, Talon. Yes. Uh, can I give you um, the Isle of Vines? No, the council is not too happy with that. Can I get you on my side? No, really? Oh, we need a chief general. So let's get, okay, let's get Asak, loyal guy. Let's get him in here to agree with me. You know, Asak could deserve some land too, but he already has, a, you know, a place. Isle of Vines, really? Who is saying no? How about you? Will you support me? Yes, okay. So we got, uh, what's his name? Oh, my husband is not too happy about that. Honestly, I don't think my husband's going to be getting any land soon. But Eknaz, yeah, Eknaz, I got him on my side. I need to make a new strong Nath. So Isle of Vines. Go ahead and take it. And uh, Basilisk, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, Isle of Flies also take it and I think that's everything for now and in a moment I will give you uh, this title but first I need to get rid of these guys okay uh, all right yeah my husband is not happy about this so what he's like a Corsair religion yeah their only gods are plunder hmm well, I would like to maybe get rid of those too, but I guess I'm not going to stop any any of that. Um, okay, so yes, yeah, Sir Jaslyn has died. Guy from Bywater. Uh, okay, and I can bring these these guys down. All right. Um. And what, we're just waiting on the peace treaty, or what? Yeah. Offer peace. Oh, wait, what? Oh, did I press the wrong thing? Hold on. Did I? Uh -huh, okay. Great. And can I revoke your title? I can. That's wonderful. Okay. Alright, and we just need to take out this last one. I will also give this to the Nathi, if they'll let me. Skull Island? Yes. All right. One more, and we will be able to give that, pass that kingdom on to them. Rhaegal is a ravenous beast. Ooh. Uh, he's been yeah, gorging himself on livestock. They want an audience. Uh, I will begin a duel with Rhaegal. No. Um, is he, is he wild? Is he wild? I mean, he's, he's at court with me, isn't he? Oh, actually, they're kind of not. Um, I don't want to duel him, but I'll offer them vague promises. I mean, I'm still able to hand them out, I think. Yeah, I can give them Viserion, for example. Um... Oh, but it's Rhaegal that I don't have. Okay. Well, uh, we'll see. Clematis. Okay. Hopefully my other son, Belaz, will be able to hatch that dragon. Man, they are taking a while. I guess I keep pausing. That's why it's taking so long. Okay. Oh, cool. okay. The Nathi are making some high lordships. That's good. Hopefully they'll fill those positions with Nathi. All right, last one. Last place we get a conquer. And look at that. 
I guess I should have also removed those uh, Corsair religions. I think I might do that, actually. I think I will use cheat codes to get rid of these, uh, because they're weird. <laughs> because the pirates obviously wouldn't stay there in these temple positions, so... Cities, cities I think I will allow to stay. Wow, an Astapori Valerian, that's crazy. Uh, cities I will allow to stay, but temples, I'm going to use cheat codes to get rid of those, because that's a little weird. Can I revoke your title? I can. Okay, that's odd. Why can I revoke some titles but not others? I have treaties with some people but not others. Uh, okay, so let me get these guys here. Oh, hey, so, so Grillar, teach her to be more charitable. Uh, Alright, yes, until next time. Alright, and I will give uh, one more landed title over to her. Uh, Axe Isle. And finally, I will give her the Kingdom of the Basilisk Isles, including lower titles. Well, you know what, actually? Maybe I... Okay, yeah. Maybe she'll revoke their title. So I will give her the Kingdom of Basilisk Isles. Alright, so we have Queen Doshura uh, Kiswe. She is Nathi, Queen of Nath and the Basilisk Isles as well. So, um, as I said, I think I'm going to keep them with me because I'm worried they'll be too weak to defend themselves. You know, the free cities would love to just come over here and raid them. So I think I'll keep them in place for now. But alright, that is wonderful. Hopefully she'll be able to revoke their titles. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how those things, how those work out. I guess I could have given that to my husband, but... I kind of don't think he deserves that. Um, yeah, and I will suffer no other queens, so she will be Lady Paramount of the Basilisk Isles. Okay, guys, so very successful conquest here. Now, we are going to attempt something else. So there is a huge civil war going on in Westeros right now. Um, I have said multiple times that I do not want to get involved in Westeros right now. And even if I did, uh, I don't think it would really work. I mean, I guess I can claim. I can press my claims. But I, as I said, I don't really want to become the Queen of Westeros. I'm here in Giscar. I have a project here. I want to liberate the world. Um, and I will not make you... The regent of Giscar. I'm very sorry. I just don't know you well enough. Uh, but why do I need a new regent? What happened to Jorah? Is Jorah dead? What happened to Jorah? Lady Marge, Jor. Oh, so Jorah has died a natural death. Oh, that is a shame. Does that mean I have the city of Astapor again? No? Well, all right, so I need a new um, regent. Uh, I suppose I will give it to my husband. Although it doesn't look like he likes me too much anymore. Where is he? 40, well, I'll give him the title of regent. And can I give him another one? Yeah, master of royal elephants. Oh, can I also give him the bodyguard title? Okay, so I've given him a round of honorary titles to help him get over not getting any land. But um, anyway, so as I've said, I, I don't want to get involved too heavily in Westerosi politics right now, but I think it would be a really good show of strength if we went and claimed Dragonstone. Well, you know what, guys? Actually, I'm going to pause that right here. Uh, I think that would be really cool because any future kings of Westeros would know, oh god, Daenerys is sitting on the footsteps of King Landing within striking distance, the Empress of Giscar. She can attack at any time. And we will have kind of, you know, we'll, we will have reclaimed our uh, ancestral seat, even though it's not necessarily the whole shebang. Um, so it would be quite nice, and it would be nice way for me to, you know, um, save face while not getting fully involved in Westeros. Because I just don't want to deal what's going on with what's going on there. I have a mission in Essos. I can't think of Westeros right now. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I attack Dragonstone? 
I'm going to think about it though, because now that I think about it, it's possible that any future king of Westeros will decide, you know, I want to take it. And it might create kind of a, you know, uncomfortable situation for me. Because, for example, if I start these wars of liberation against, for example, you know, Philantis or Karth or whatever, and they attack me while that's going on, uh, that's going to be uncomfortable and that's going to be annoying. So, you know what? I'm actually starting to have second thoughts about that. But, you know, I'm going to take the weekend. I'm going to think about it. Let me know what you guys think. Should I do it? Should I not? I think there's pretty good pros and cons. But if I wanted to do it, now's the time. I mean, they are in absolute uh, chaos right now. In fact, I guess I could take it and give it to my son. But I don't want to get sucked into to Westeros right now. I could even abolish the Iron Throne if I wanted to, now that I think about it. Because it wouldn't have to be my primary title. So I could just dissolve it and give them all independence or keep the crown lands. So lots of possibilities. I'm going to think about it. It's too much for me to think about right now. Uh, I'm coming off of an hour and a half of filming. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Very exciting possibilities. Um, you know, I we could take Dragonstone. Um, I could... Um, you know, go ahead. I think in the next episode also I'm going to go ahead and reclaim these two kingdoms up here from the Dothraki. But very soon uh, we could start our Wars of Liberation. Uh, I would probably start in Karth. Um, maybe even Pharaohs. I don't know if they even have slavery though. Let me check. I don't think they do. But they do. Okay. Hmm. Well, you know, um... Uh, you know, that could be interesting. Maybe this could be our first project in nation building because I think they are all feudal. So I could perhaps, you know, create the kingdom of Marak, uh, a free kingdom with no slavery, and then liberate Karth. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. I keep rambling on. Lots of possibilities. Uh, join me in the next episode, guys. There's so many directions that we can now go with uh, Empress Daenerys. So um, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I will see you uh, next time.